Shalom. I'm Izar. Back with another scriptural slashing on false prophets and false doctrines. And this is going to be a pretty quick slashing. And today's slashing victim will be white boy Joey. The bum. Who refers to himself as Gabar. And uh, brings his false teachings to 34th and 7th in Manhattan every Saturday. Okay, now this man came to the latest video I had uploaded about Bono and the Most High dealing with him. And on the comment board, you can go see for yourself, he asks me why, if I don't believe in GMS brand Hebrew, why do I refer to myself as Isaiah? He didn't say GMS brand of Hebrew, but I'm saying that because GMS does have their own brand of Hebrew, which is not biblical at all. Okay? Not biblical at all. Supposedly it's some divine revelation from false prophet Ariah. Who knows what he's doing now? But anyway, you can read about... Uh, the actual man named Isaiah in, in history um, in Exodus the 6th chapter and the 18th verse he was the uncle of Moses and Aaron okay Joey some information for you you're getting a lesson now alright now to look into the definition of the word Isaiah it's not what you bums told me when I first joined that cult Look up that word in Exodus the 6th chapter and the 18th verse. I-Z-H-A-R. Look that word up for yourselves. Okay. The word means the shining one. Or shining oil. Or shining pure oil. That's what the word Izar means. Okay, but ask one of these flunkies to explain anything in the biblical Hebrew and they'll be stuck. That's a guarantee. But then they'll tell you that they have 100% truth. Okay, let's read what the Bible says about lies like that. Or proud liars like that. Proverbs 18 and 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. And that's a perfect backup to uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. Because people who lack humility, they just get destroyed in the end. And really, the only way you gain any type of Honor is by humility. That's what that scripture is saying. Okay? Got to be humble to receive honor according to the Lord. Maybe not according to Vernon Brown, Jason Windhorse, White Boy Joey the Bum, Hernan Cortez, you know, Johanna Bala Cross Dresser. Maybe according to them, that might not be the case. But according to the Bible, that's what it is, okay? You have to be humble. Yes, you have to be humble. For GMS, you just have to cough up some money. That's all you got to do. Cough up some money. You'll be all right with them. Oh, by the way, on another note, we'll touch on that in a later time, but uh, get ready for that uh, frosty GMS Passover coming up February 2nd. 2015, $50 per plate. Have your money ready. Also, Vernon will expect you to come through with some fine wine. And he will tell you at some point, pass that wine up to the table. You're supposed to bring gifts, brother. Be prepared for him to go into the New Testament and dupe you out of some money. Like he did with Jason Windhorse that time. Hey, hey, Vernon. 
Whatever happened to that 3500 we put up for Jason Windhorse car? Hmm? Why is he still on foot? Why is that bum still on foot? We put up $3,500 for this supposed vehicle that Jason Windhorse, who calls himself Rakoff, the wild man, who, uh, uh, who's commonly referred to as Beast Man and all types of other things. Other things. What happened to this? I mean, $3,500. To fix a vehicle. That's what Vernon said. After everybody got good and drunk, Vernon stops everybody from what they're doing and says that Jason needs his car fixed and he need about $3,500. They had that money too. Dig deeper, you know? That's what Vernon will tell you when he's having those collections. If they don't get enough money, they'll say, dig deeper, brother. And then Vernon will pull a con game. And he'll go in his wallet and he'll pull out $20, okay, and act like, look, I'm putting my own money in. Come on, Vernon, who you fooling? Proverbs 15 and 27. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. But he that hateth gifts shall live. So, Vernon... Why are you pressuring your men to present gifts at your Winterland dinner? Because surely that's not the Passover according to Exodus the 12th chapter. Like I said, I'll touch on it deeper at another time, at a later time. Okay? But you insist on your men not only coming with that $50 per plate, but also that they bring gifts. And you frown upon them if they don't. Come on, Vernon. What's good with that, man? Where's that in the Bible, Vernon? Hmm? Come on. Mr. Bribe Taker? Anyway, the point of this video was to uh, address Joey's question. And Joey, I know you've been edified, okay? As you have been in the past, but you still choose to kiss Vernon's behind and spew that garbage. Because doing that has allowed you to remain unemployed and begging for over 20 years. You should be ashamed of yourself. One more scripture before I close out. Proverbs 18 and 9. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. I brought that out before, but I had to bring it out again for this book. Shalom.